morning guys and welcome to today's video. It's not even morning. It is uh, It is 407 today flew by I mean I haven't even accomplished anything today. I barely just got dressed Sophie and I are working on our Rocks, so this is the machine that we got. I love it. It's not very noisy You can actually get super noisy ones this one. I love it's big and It's set for two days. Is it set for two days Sophie? Yeah. What when what thing says for two days? Days speed. Oh, and how did it tell you what speed to put it at? Oh, so I Sophie, pause it. All right, so Sophie's running it. Let's check. It She's out. controlling it. If Sophie can actually get it open, I don't think you can see anything. Yeah, let's just leave it. All right, yeah, let's just leave it. These boot boxes here, Moretta, that's the name of her boot. They're a hybrid boot. They're part leather and part uh, synthetic. I forgot about those. I forget a lot about those. I know. Today you reminded me that I have candles. Yeah. But today is New Year's Eve and we're having a little party. We do this every year. You can tell when the dogs are cold. <laughs> They all come and they sit right here in front of this fireplace. That's so funny. Ellie, Usually it's Daisy. This looks awful now, but I made soup. And over time, if you leave it sit, it absorbs all the water. I was saving it on the stove for Gabby. She heated some up. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then tomorrow when I wanna eat more, I'll put more water and more soup stock in it and it will kind of revive it. But I had healthy, yummy soup. Have you ever heard that rumor that turkey soup or chicken soup is healing, has healing properties in it? I believe it is. I believe that it's true because I think a lot of our commercialized chicken and turkeys get antibiotics. I hate chicken soup. Yeah, Sophie hates it. I just like the, the watery stuff. Yeah, so does Gabby. She just likes the broth. We do a lot of finger foods for New Year's Eve, so Sam's getting all that ready right now. He got some New Year's blowers some napkins and some plates. And then we got a bunch of chips and some chocolate and some other stuff that we're gonna put out when it gets a little bit later, closer to the new year. But one thing that I saw that I thought was so super fun, I asked them to get cotton candy. So every year on New Year's Eve, we have champagne. And I saw on TikTok or one of the things today where people, where people put cotton candy in their champagne. So I was super excited about it. I wanted to try it. So I had to go to the bigger town to get the champagne, but all the big bottles are gone. I said, where are these big bottles? The restaurants buy them all again? And they're like, yeah, every year at all the restaurants. Buy all there the bottles all of- the big bottles of champagne. But so how? You're, you're stuck buying the little bottles. So if a restaurant buys out all the champagne, think how much money they must, because they're not getting a discount. Think how much money they must have to charge you to make yeah, it worth it. A small cheap bottle is $15 for a big bottle. The small one is ten dollars. Wow! It's only five dollars more for like almost three times the uh, amount. Yeah, but anyway, we don't drink a lot, hardly ever. So uh, one glass of champagne each is fine with us. She's gonna, she's gonna take that in her mouth and bite it. <laughs> I wonder if she can hear it. <laughs> what does Ellie do? Ellie, come here. Ellie, come here. Come here. Oops. She's, come here, Ellie. Between. She's come here. She's so scared. <laughs> That's mean. Oh. Show Ruby. Ruby. She doesn't care. She's like I'm used to this. Yeah, she she gets it. She's scared now. You have to show it to her, make her not scared. Let her chew it to bits. <laughs> She will have them in her cage. I know. The dogs have been making fast work of all their stuffies. Poor little gingerbread man didn't even make it to 2024. <laughs> I have a bunch of mints for the horses to wish them, to help them wish in the good year, the new year. Oh, Ellie's like, I want them all. Girls are still carrying around their Christmas loot. I don't understand it. I think it's one of those things where out of sight, out of mind, they don't want to lose their stuff. They don't, they won't remember what they got. I don't even remember. I know. So I asked Sophie, where are your candles? She got really nice candles for Christmas. I want to burn one for, for New Year's Eve. And she said, oh yeah, I have candles. They're in the bottom of that thing. That's for laundry, not for carrying oh, around junk. Put it next to keep table, a basket. Yeah. Okay, so 
Um, before we start our festivities, because we're going to bring you guys along tonight on our Christmas festivities, we got invited to a family uh, party, New Year's Eve party, but we're not nighttime people. We're not party people, and we are partied out. We have holiday hangover, and we are just not ready to do it again. So we're going to stay home and do our own thing. We're going to watch the ball drop, and we're going to watch the ball drop and bring in the new year. Okay, but before we get started, I want everybody to tell me what was their favorite memory from this year. I'll give you guys a few minutes to think about it. Everybody has to think about it, Sam. Okay, Sophie, best memory from this year? I'm going to my first fair. Going to your first fair ever? What about showing Storm at a show series without a coach? Yeah. Winning reserve champion over a uh, year-end reserve champion? Yeah, what about learning Western riding? Do you feel like you've learned going back and doing basic skills over and over throughout the summer really solidified things for you? Yeah, that's exciting. One of my big things for Sophie was this year is finally getting boots. That was such a blessing. All right, Gabby, sit up there. What do you, what is something that was a highlight for this year for you? Getting all your manga books at Christmas time? Yeah. And meeting Harvey. Harvey, yeah, meeting Harvey was super special. I feel like losing Chino. Oh, still can't even talk about it. Okay, go Sam. Uh, moving to this farm. Yeah, the farm was such a blessing. It's way bigger. I was so nervous to move for so long and then we made the move and it was a blessing. Even though it took us a month, we took a month to move. Yeah, that was, the worst part. that was the worst part. But this has been a blessing. Have you loved living here? Yeah. Yeah, it has been a blessing. We're gonna make some changes starting in in January too. So, Gabby, what about getting a cat? Well, I forgot she existed. <laughs> I know she's the quietest little cat. Getting to watch my kids learn new things, getting time to spend with people that we love and we care about. We're all amazing blessings. Losing Chino, like I was trying to say before, overshadowed so much of the last half of the year that it definitely made things a lot harder for us. But we were still able to see the beauty and I loved watching my kids accomplish new things and learn new things. I loved getting to spend time with family and friends. I loved meeting new people. You guys, we met so many new people this year. Most of them we didn't vlog. Um, but we met a lot of new people, a lot of really incredible new people. Having Ellie was a huge highlight for me, watching her antics and seeing her become the little dog that she has become. I honestly had no idea what having a Yorkie was going to be like. She was nothing like I thought having a Yorkie was going to be like. I thought she'd be just like a Chihuahua. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. She is such a different dog. We've never had a dog like her before. I feel so grateful to have all of our beloved animals and I'm excited about our goats. You guys know that already. But anyway, I feel like we had an amazing year. So much growth in our personalities and also so much growth in our lives. And this year I'm planning a whole new journey for us. So <laughs> what? I live Sophie lit her candle, so now we finally get the smell of a candle. I have this really cute um, essential oil burner over there, and it doesn't smell hardly at all. Like, I put a lot of oil in it, and unless you're sitting right by it, you can't smell it. I see people say that candles are awful compared to essential oils, but I can hardly smell the essential oil. Now that we shared some of the highlights from our year with you, or the things that meant a lot to us, I want to know what was a highlight for you this year? What was something that you accomplished or something that you learned or something, some way that you've grown that has made you feel really good about yourself or that you feel accomplished or that has made you feel accomplished? And look at how big she looks. She grew a lot recently, but she looks bigger in the camera, a lot bigger in the camera. You forgot to mention the goats. Yeah, I did mention the goats. I love the goats and I'm excited for their babies. Happy New Year, Penny girl. Look, a treat for the new year. That's for you. She's looking calm. They just ran. They ran? Well, they, were, they weren't there and I didn't see them here and I'm like, I guess once Gabby came out, they all started running from the back. Came around? 
Okay, Ollie killed something. Uh oh. There's a chunk of meat right there. Oh. How do you know it was? Oh Ma yeah, it was a bird. Yeah. So. You saw a bird here? There's little birds in here, so maybe. There are bird. little birds in my barn too. Maybe the cat did kill something. Eh? I didn't. I never see the. Let's cat go check the top oh, two of, of them that barn. I never there's see. There's like the a chunk. Yeah. Right there's there. Yeah. What is it? Like the leg? It's a chunk. I didn't see it. Oh. Ellie, there, so it hey, handsome man. I brought you carrots. Happy New Year. It's a whole new year. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, you. He's very gentle. <laughs> Here, did you give Honey a treat? Did you give Willow? Yeah. And Gracie? Gracie? She needs one. I want to go in that Happy top. New Year, Princess. I want to go in the top of the bar and see what all. Uh oh. We don't see the goose. Better not have been the goose. Leo. It was it was gray feathers, but just tiny little feathers. He might have ran all the way over there with the horses. Leo! Let's pick up your one. That would be a really sad end to this year. You don't see anything? Let's walk around the barn and see I'm gonna start putting the goats in. Yeah. Don't come back to me with bad news. Come on, Lucy. The goose is missing! Uh-oh. I'm freaking myself out. I hope he's okay. The goose is missing! That can't be the goose. What? It probably was him. Why? Because I don't see anything. It's okay. Oh, I'm freaking out. Not see- oh my gosh, our goose is missing. Oh. <laughs> He's here! <laughs> Ellie found him. <laughs> I was almost ready to cry. Oh, you scared us. Were you cold? What happened? Uh oh, how'd you guys get in? <laughs> Come here, Goosey. Thank God. That was like, that was honestly the scariest thing. You guys, it was him. But that's why he was standing in there scared and we didn't know. He has scratches on him. <sighs> All right, well, we're gonna have to fix him. Can you put her away? I'm gonna take him up to the house and we're gonna fix him. It's okay, he's got scratches. He was probably trying to protect somebody. Good job, Leo. Good job, Leo. <sighs> so it was our goose and he was attacked. <laughs> He had some scratches on his face. I gave him some antibiotics. I feel so bad for the trauma that he went through. I don't want him to have trauma. I don't want him to be scared. We brought a blanket in here. I tried to like, we took him in the house and cleaned him up. Like he just has scratches, a few scratches on him. One on his face and one on his chest, like across his chest and neck, I guess. I don't know what got him. So we came, I came down, like seriously, he always goes off with the horses. So I was so happy when I found him in here. He came in here, he came all the way from that barn down here and was standing in here in this corner. So we took him in the house and we tried to like, we cleaned him up and we put some antibiotics on his scratches. What? The scratches look like cat scratches. You think it was a cat? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I don't know if it was him. He's got lots of food. Was that you? If that was you. I don't think so, because he would have stuff on him. Does he look sad? No. He looks upset that Ellie's here. He looks full. I don't know. Bird Sam's checking the cameras right now. We're going to hang out here for a little while and make sure that he's okay. But we put some antibiotic cream on his scratches and then we tried to bundle him up and kind of keep him warm but he doesn't want to be in the house with us it's not the right climate for him sam has it so hot and we know he wants we know he wants to be with his mate oh he seems a little better he's definitely doing better down here he was so stressed so scared like i don't not know where the first aid kit that i have for the barn is this is not how I expected to spend New Year's Eve. 
you guys. How do you ever trust again? Whatever that was, probably a cat. I just don't know how you how he would have got in the middle of the barn because there's literally no way he could have got into that barn. So all I can think is something was trying to drag him under. I don't know. We're gonna see the video. I think he's gonna be okay. The raccoons don't usually come out here until nighttime. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna stay with him for a little while. And then we're gonna go up to the house and eat. We're gonna stay with him and make sure he's okay. And we're gonna go and eat and then we're gonna come back and check on him in a little bit. That is scary, you guys. The thing is, is that if they stay down, like they stay down. I feel like he got choked underneath the, the gate. So if they stay down at this barn, then Ollie would never let any other cats, I don't think, in this area. But he goes up to the horses. We might have to lock them down here. I don't know, it just hurts that we should, like, we're here, we're watching the cameras all day. We're in and out, and we didn't get to, We didn't get to save him, and we didn't get to see it happen. Come on, Ollie. We're gonna go up and see if Sam found anything. We'll see what it was on the cameras. Okay, he tried to climb in here because there's scratches in here. So you gotta break that for tomorrow. Because ducks will go in water. In water to save themselves. It's hard when it's ice though. Oh, 